So if you own an 09 to 18 Ram 1500 and you're looking for hands down the most affordable, the simplest, and the easiest to install front end protection for your truck, then you should be checking out Barricade's three and a half inch oval bull bar with this form skid plate in this gloss black finish. I say that because at around the $150 price point, again, this is the least expensive option as far as front end protection goes, and that's even including brush guards and armor bumpers. Now, yes, brush guards and armor bumpers do provide more coverage for the front end, but they are big, they're bulky, they're more expensive, they're more time consuming to install and if you take your truck off-road well a lot of times they can compromise your approach angles and they can compromise your ability to fit through tight spaces that's not the case with this guy here it does not compromise your approach angles whatsoever you can still get plenty of clearance under there as you can see and that skid plate will even protect the lower bumper which is a nice touch especially with this chrome bumper hiding behind it now there are a couple other cool things going for this even though it is the most affordable it is not cheap by any means it's actually made out of heavy-duty stainless steel all the brackets are very heavy duty as well. They're solid steel, all welded as one piece, and they bolt together with heavy duty hardware. Again, everything is powder coated too. This is not a black painted finish. Powder coats a baked on finish, so it'll stand up to abuse. And if you ever do manage to take the finish off of this thing, again, that stainless steel underneath will not rust or corrode like a basic carbon steel will. Now, as far as the install goes, again, this gets high marks in my book because it's so simple. It's a bolt-on application. If you want to keep the splash guard underneath, you might have to trim it, but you can get away with doing this with basic hand tools in the driveway. So for that reason, I'm give the install a very simple one out of three wrenches on my patented difficulty meter. So again, you want some basic front end protection for the front end of your Ram 1500. You don't want to compromise those approach angles and you want something that overall just looks good. Go ahead and stick around. I'm going to show you guys what tools you need then I'll walk you through the install step by step. All right guys, to install your bull bar, you'll need a flathead screwdriver or a trim panel removal tool, a standard drive ratchet, as well as a 10, 16, and 18 millimeter deep socket. You're also going to need 13, 16, and 18 millimeter wrenches, and optional but helpful tools include an impact swivel, some channel locks, and a cordless impact gun. Alright guys, first we have to remove our splash guard to make room for the bowl bar and the brackets. Now the splash guard is held in with some basic hardware. You're going to need a 10 millimeter socket for this bolt on the end on either side, and you're going to need a trim panel removal tool or a flathead screwdriver for all these push pins. All right guys, honestly, that was probably the most irritating part of this install. Everything else is very straightforward. It's just a couple of bolts and nuts. You're gonna be removing these two nuts here on the studs for the bumper support. You're gonna need an 18 millimeter deep socket. Once you remove those nuts, grab the upper bracket that goes with the kit, slide that on and put the nuts back over top of it. All right guys, now that you got both of these top brackets on, you want to throw on your bottom brackets. You want to also hold on to your 18 millimeter deep socket. You're going to grab two of the large flat washers, crush washers, and 18 millimeter nuts in the kit. And you're going to secure the lower bracket to the upper bracket using that hardware and that socket. All right, next you wanna grab another one of those large bolts in the kit with another crush washer and flat washer. We're gonna secure our support bracket and the oval hole here goes on this protrusion underneath the frame rail with this pre-threaded hole. Again, you're gonna need your 18 millimeter socket to tighten this down. When you tighten this down, make sure that the other end here with the tongues lines up with this hole on the bottom bracket. All right, with the support bracket in place on the frame side, you want to secure it to the bracket side. You're going to grab the slightly smaller bolts in the kit, 16 millimeter head bolts and 16 millimeter nuts, two flat washers and one crush washer. And to tighten these guys down, you're going to need a 16 millimeter wrench. And 
And again, go ahead and do the same thing for the other side. All right, guys, once you got those two bottom brackets in place, you have a decision to make. If you want to ditch the splash guard entirely, you can do so, and it's not really going to cause any problems. You might get a little bit of dirt underneath there, nothing to worry about. But if you do want to keep your splash guard, it's actually pretty straightforward. What you want to do is hold it up in the place where it was originally sitting, and a nice way to make sure it's lined up is with those two plastic rivets on either end. Go ahead and get those in the holes on either end of the splash guard. Then go ahead and take a marker and actually mark around those bottom brackets where they're going to come through the splash guard. Once you've done so, you can cut off those holes right there, and then you can actually install the splash guard, and then we can continue on with our install for the bull bar. All right, guys, so once you got both of those holes cut out, go ahead and throw the splash guard in place, mock it up, make sure both of those brackets actually clear the holes, and then you can actually secure this guy using that hardware we removed earlier. All right, with your splash guard in place, you can start installing the brackets that are gonna hold the bull bar to the other brackets themselves. You're gonna grab two more of these 18 millimeter head bolts. You're also gonna need two flat washers, one crush washer, and one nut for each one. Go ahead and throw the bracket with the oval end facing on the outside. All right, so once you got those brackets in place, now comes the fun part. Go ahead and grab your bowl bar, line it up with both brackets, make sure everything is flush, then you can actually secure it. You're gonna be using these 13 millimeter head bolts provided in the kit, two for each side, and you're gonna need the appropriate crush washers and flat washers, and if you hadn't guessed, you're also gonna need a 13 millimeter wrench or a socket to tighten these down. All right guys, so once you got those last bolts tightened down, that'll wrap up our very easy install. And that also wraps up my review of the Barricade 3.5 inch oval bowl bar with skid plate, fitting your 09-18 Ram 1500. I'm Travis, thanks for watching, and for all things Ram, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.